stenosis basically in the simplest terms means just a curvature of the spine and typically we think of the spine in this plane so it's any deviation of the spine usually to the right um, that occurs and most of the time just occurs due to asymmetrical growth of the spine. Mostly it's adolescent girls, in fact it's a, it's, a, it's a condition that's much more frequent in girls than boys. If it looks like a curve that has a high risk of getting worse and they're still growing, then our sort of primary step would be to try and prevent that. And bracing is a, is a non-invasive way of doing that. It, it's, um, it can be a little challenging for the kids sometimes because to be effective the brace has to be worn most of the day. Sophie is a, is a not a toy really, it's a tool that we use. Sophie helps us with the kids, especially the younger kids who have scoliosis. Obviously it's a bit of a scary scenario. So it does a dual purpose. It, it, it provides a model with which I can discuss the mechanics of it with the patients and the parents and when the patients are younger. Um, but it also makes it perhaps less threatening um, for the kids to sort of see Sophie who may have a little bit of scoliosis but otherwise is a cute and cuddly animal. So. The bracing does two things. It tries to sort of hold the spine straight while they grow, so they grow longitudinally. And uh, yes, oftentimes in, in situations where it doesn't work completely to the point of making surgery unnecessary, it at least helps it control it to the point where we can get them to the age where they can have the surgery and hopefully we'll only need to do the surgery over the levels that uh, are the sort of the primary or structural curve. I have a particular interest in scoliosis as does one of my partners, Dr. Rasul and Ajad, and so the two of us together have a dedicated scoliosis clinic here at the hospital. I used to do it as part of my regular clinic but you know, realized a number of years ago that there was probably the need for something that was like I said a little more identifiable and, and as it um, as it becomes a little more of a regional thing, um, the numbers keep going up. When people get the diagnosis, often they kind of have never heard of it before, or families are kind of concerned about it, but then you come to a clinic and you see many other patients in different stages of treatment, some with braces, some even post-surgery, and I think it's helpful for them to kind of uh, get the feeling that they're not alone and this is something that's not quite as rare or maybe as scary as it, as it has been in the past. It's really kind of rewarding to uh, see the results you get, see the kids coming back who are really ecstatic what you've done for them, what you've been able to help them with. Um, it's also, it's a lot of fun working with kids. If they sort of, every day I kind of see someone who just kind of, they do something that just surprises me, makes me laugh, and it's always good to be laughing when you're working.